So after this postponement news of NEET PG to 7 July, a lot of people I know are really confused like whether they should target INICT, May INICT or July NEET PG. Because we know like most of the students prepare for NEET PG only and since INICT happens after NEET PG, we just prepare for that one month and tend to give INICT. But this time INICT is happening before. So in this video, I would like to discuss like who should try to give INICT and who should try to aim need pg so that they do not get distracted yeah so hello everyone welcome to my channel i am dr ritik dugar i have completed my mbbs from grand government medical college mumbai and currently i am pursuing my dnb medicine residency from new delhi and in this video i'm also going to discuss like how the postponement is going to affect different group of people because the same thing happened during covid like when uh, the students were preparing seriously and were there at the peak of preparation as per the schedule their performance declined after a few months when it actually happened and on the other hand the people who were not so seriously preparing earlier but rather pushed in those months their performance improved a lot so first group of people are the people who are really disappointed by postponement the moment the news came out they were like shit this should not have happened so in this category the mostly there will be post interns and especially those post interns who were like had multiple revisions who did their complete revision especially if the INICT November INICT rank was within 10k you must aim for INICT like I know still it feels like INICT is really unpredictable no matter how well you have prepared and especially if you want like branches like medicine radio derma then they have very limited number of seats which probably but like within few of the upper institutes will probably close within 100 to 200 rank so it is really unpredictable but you still should give it a shot firstly because again you will save some time because the batch will start early secondly a stipend is really good there is no bond especially in medicine it is a very big advantage and if you want to prepare for dm it will save you a year which is very important at the stipend bond and the third the name of the college even if it's peripheral aims you know it like you know it adds to your name coming to the fact that it's really scary or unpredictable ki hoga ki nahi hoga so then that's the seal for everyone no matter how well you have prepared like you will have doubt while giving INICT if you are targeting for that top rank because firstly INICT is not entirely syllabus based kyunki agar NEET PG mein let's say you have revised everything multiple revisions ho gaye aapne sari cheeze kar li hai so you are secure that you will get the most number of the questions which you have already done or which you have already read somewhere but that's not the case in INICT INICT test is obviously 50% about your preparation and again the 50% is about the day of the exam you know because there will be question no matter how much how well you have prepared like in those two options in which there will be confusion you will have to decide based on your logical reasoning or whatever you feel like that in the exam hall so, and obviously since you have already got 10k rank in november INICT and even if someone wants to try up if they did not get under 10k because i don't know like maybe you were not serious at that time but you have improved your preparation lately a lot so that is for you to decide but just to give a point like you can measure like if you already got 10k in november INICT then definitely there is hope because you would have already prepared a lot of that even if even if INICT does not work out there is a significant gap between INICT and EPG in that time you can prepare the other third minor and third major subjects in terms of neat important topics now coming to the second group of candidates and this group second group consists of students who were preparing and on and off and did not get the chance to have multiple revisions and are not really confident about their preparation it may be intern or post intern but mostly like there will be interns only in this batch because you know there comes a posting which is easy then you get to study then suddenly there is some other posting in which you do not get a, any time to study then again the rhythm is broken so this kind of thing happen while you are preparing with internship i was also in this group last year around february so that's why i wanted the exam to postpone so that i could enter into the first group but since this year exam has postponed so i think so you should target for need pg only because if you will give a lot of time 
and weightage to first and second year subjects especially embryology the kind of topics which are anatomy predominant like anatomy especially anatomy is there are histopathology there are embryology which do not have which have least significance in neat pg so i would suggest that do target for neat pg only if you think you really badly want central institute and even if it is not happening this year you are going to give november anicity for central institute then do target because at least you will give a sincere attempt then you will have an idea whether you want to give the november anicity or not but if you want just to get the seat then try giving neat pg sincerely because i wanted to take a seat with internship only after giving my neat pg if you are thinking that if you will get get a good rank you will take the college itself and will not prepare again then do prepare for neat pg and get a good seat for yourself rather than wasting a month or two around for anicity and then declining on neat pg performance also and then getting stuck at a rank where you are confused that whether you want to take the seat or should you take drop that is really tricky because when even after i joined like my seat sometimes i felt like i should give another attempt for neat pg because all of my friends were preparing so i thought it's not a big deal i can give one at a one more year but at the end of the day i got my dream branch if you because if you get stuck at a rank which is not as good as your expectations or not really bad that you should take a drop again then you get stuck like you know it constantly like whether you should have given another try you would have done much better because i also went through this feeling like it was ki i should not have taken with internship rather i should have prepared for november inicit because my may inicit with internship was 1900 rank so i thought probably i could have made an improvement that way but at the end of the day i got my branch which is the most important factor so so i finally had my peace with that so i would suggest to prepare for neat pg and take the branch of your choice from a good medical college and the third group consists of people who are not preparing actually they will be mostly interns like who thought they will prepare next year and they must they may be post interns who are doing different jobs so but since the exams are postponed then you decided to give it a shot again so in that case you must target neat pg because i was in the same situation around september or october where i decided okay let me give my best shot possible if it will not happen then it's fine i'll prepare next year so i did my revision like from short subject uh, from different sources which has the most concise notes and did prepare in four months which i have shared in my first video but again like i would be clear that third major subject and third minor subjects i did in respective years from maru and there was not significant gap so it took me really less effort to revise if you were sincere up to your final year then these four months are sufficient to get a decent rank where you can get a branch out of a branch of your choice like the people who are preparing now like have nothing to lose so the postponement is just like they want to give it a shot so there is nothing to lose so that will help you to prepare like randomly like you will have the confidence to go for only important topics only for previous year topics or or just the subjects which have very high weightage and you will be able to like just go very easy on the subjects which will have less weightage which a person who has prepared well cannot do a person who has given time and energy the person who has given time and energy will definitely be like under a lot of pressure and will try to cover all the points despite the fact they know that this is not important and this is not probably going to at the end i would like to say like those who were preparing for march third as their target like do not get saturated do not get frustrated and do like do not get over confident and like ki okay maine sab kar rakha hai let i'll ab to ho jayega the thing is that it is very important to revise everything in the last few months okay no matter whether you have studied a lot before or not so if you are feeling kind of saturated to go easy on yourself for the first two months like re- take breaks on and off and go easy on yourself so that you can have that motivation and energy left for the last two months especially if we talk about dpg the main goal is to concise the syllabus to read it multiple times so that the end goal is to revise you will be able to revise it in 20 days in last 20 to 25 days that's the goal and those who are not preparing early please do not lose this golden opportunity because 
the thing is that this session will start a lot late and then probably next exam will happen early so you will not get much time so this is a golden opportunity like just take your seat even if you're in turn just try to give your best shot because there is significant time left still and most of you will probably complete your internship a month prior to it or two months prior to it and probably will have time for that last moment of that and probably will have complete time for that last one two months which will boost your score like very high and the second advantage is like with, while giving with internship is that while revising with internship is that you are connected to all those topics of your final year at least and it, it goes in flow so you do not it's not like a fresh start but once you take a drop there will be a significant break after the need around need pg around internship and then you will have to start from scratch again so so do give your best shot i wish all of you the very best if you like my video do like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video